electrical or electrical problems that can drive these things. And of course, when you have a serious flow surging problem, you just need to to watch all the symptoms and then start putting together uh, some kind of a hypothesis on, on what the main or what the root cause of the problem would be. Go to slide six. So the goals here are to show examples of flow surging on some commercial production lines. And these are some lines that I've looked at over the last 20 years. Uh, we're going to look at a poor barrel temperature uh, control problem, uh, some poor solids conveying, a screw blockage problem, and, um, and also some melting limitations. And where I can, I'm going to try and provide some solutions uh, to these types of problems. But there's, there's, there's other sources of, of uh, root causes for, for surging. And sometimes these things are hard to find. And um, they can be in other places, too. And of course, we're not going to cover them. We'll go to slide seven. Right to a poor barrel temperature uh, control problem. This one's pretty sharp, but it, it shows you that, uh, that that these issues do crop in. This this happened to an, an eight-inch diameter extruder. It had a relatively small cyclic variation in the rate, and the variation occurred at a frequency of about once every 20 minutes. And when I think of something on on the order of once every 20 minutes, I always think of, of barrel heaters or coolers, or, or even temperature control in a barrel. Uh, but th this rate variation caused a variation in the sheet thickness, which allowed, which caused the converter to actually put more material into the uh, sheet than, uh, than what was required. And of course, that cost him money. Here's what the, uh, the analysis looked like. Uh, the, the dotted line in the center 